Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And holy shit, I just came across this and I was like, yo, I gotta go ahead and uh, see what's going on with this. And as you can see from the title of this article reads, 1986, Batman the Punisher Cross Paths in Short Fan Film. And what I'm wondering is, is this fan film created by Bat and the Sun? Because if it is, Bat in the Sun always be kicking ass. So what it says here is, a very interesting Batman and the Punisher crossover fan film has been making rounds the last few weeks and even caught the attention of the Punisher of 2004 star Thomas Jane, who shared it on his Twitter account and said it's really cool and a lot of fun. So we decided to go ahead and share it here on Arrow in the Head, written and directed by James Campbell. The short is called 1986 and draws inspiration from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns comic book series, the works of John Carpenter, and the early films of Michael Mann and James Cameron. Check it out in the embed above, which I will be leaving a link to it here in the description. So 1986 has a short and simple synopsis. In 1986, Gotham Dark Knight comes face to face with the Punisher as they hunt the same man. The cast includes Lee Charles, Gangs of London as Batman and Mark Griffin, I Am Vengeance as the Punisher. There are also multiple credits for Penguin Thugs and Russian Bodyguards because Batman and the Punisher need some goons to take down while they're doing their thing. Campbell warns that 1986 is not suitable for children and you'll quickly understand why. Here's another fair warning before you click play on the video above. It's very likely that 1986 is going to leave you wanting more because the short film comes to an end as soon as it reaches the most interesting moment. You get to watch some fun performances on the way to that ending though and get to witness a good amount of violence action courtesy of a rather comic accurate Punisher. Of course, the skull logo is there, but this Punisher even comes complete with white boots and a beast of a Batman. Okay. Look guys, I've already checked it out myself and this thing is fucking awesome. The action is, is on point. Batman is dope. The Punisher's dope. Yo, you can't fuck around and not watch this. So to see that it's a fan film, putting these two together on the same screen is fucking phenomenal. I think you ought to check it out. Go ahead and uh, see it for yourself. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.